Hey guys, what's up? This is Mustangs Boo Guy. Welcome back to BMNG Drawing with another challenge. Now, this is the Grand Canyon. If you can see all the way up there, is a jump. Now, I have made a few vehicles, or I've tuned a few vehicles, to try and jump the Grand Canyon. And the first one I've selected is the 200BX. This is a rally version of it with a the most powerful engine you can get, Stage 3 Super, Stage 3 Turbocharged, 2.5 inline 4. Come on, get some traction, there we go. Now get speed, come on, how much speed? This is for an estimate, I don't think that's going to make it, but this is just an estimate on how much speed I'm going to need. Get up to 120, 124, 123, 120 miles an hour is not fast enough at all. This vehicle will never make it. Ow! Oh dear. Ow! That is not very 200BX shaped anymore. And, ow. One more. And there's a war. That's not very 200BX shaped anymore. Okay, yeah, this isn't gonna work. We are going to need a um, better vehicle. My next vehicle is stock from the game. A... SBR4. This is the a, a twin turbo variant, as they put it, extremely powerful and very fast. So we might have the speed. Come on. Go faster than the rally car, please. Thank you. 140. Can we accelerate up the hill? Not really. 140 miles an hour. 138 miles an hour across the jump. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No, come on. Ow. Oh. That's a cube now. Ow. Um, our SBR4 is a cube. Ow. That's basically just the back of an SBR4 with, well, the front. We're gonna one more go. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to go a little bit straighter. Maybe I can get some more power. You know there is a manual version of this car that might give us a little bit more speed. We shall very briefly see. There's a manual version. I forgot. I didn't mean to click on that one. There we go. Let's try this. Manuals are tending to tend to be faster. Automatics have gotten better, but manuals still tend to be the faster form in terms of straight line speed. Come on. Of course. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, that's that's even slower. 135 miles an hour. Yeah, we're not gonna make that. And no dive into the cliff. Oh, that's your roof. That's a roof into the cliff. Oh, ow. And then the bottom into the... That's a very flat vehicle now. That is paper thin in a form of a little, like, bridge almost. Okay, the, um, <laughs> SBR4 definitely has not made it. Alright, this is the next of my vehicles. It is a Marauder. A D-Series Marauder. Now, you may think that's slow as crap and not very aerodynamic, but... I've lightened it. I've taken as much weight out as possible. I'm still having, you know, a drivable vehicle. Um, I have off-road suspension, and more importantly, I have a 707 horsepower Hellcat engine in it. I know that because it says Hellcat on the on the option. So, come on, go faster than 130, please. 130, 140, actually 140 would be nice. Come on, come on. Come on! Come on! Come on! That's not gonna make it! That's not gonna make it! Ow, you're just another- you're just a slightly slower SVR4. Of course- Ow! 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 That's a hard hit. Of course, you know, considering the fact that you are a giant truck, you are actually able to get up to some pretty serious speeds. That's as fast as a supercar, and you're a, well, not exactly the most aerodynamic of things. So, um, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got this. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, no. Ow. Yeah, you're just gonna die. Hey, you might land on the road this time. Hey! 
That is very much dead. I mean, it didn't fall off the cliff, but... Not exactly in the best of condition. Well, if we want power, we can't get much better than the K-Series. This is a mod, has some god unknown amount of power. And we're definitely going to clear the jump, I think. We're going over 140 already. We're going to probably reach 150, 160 maybe. Yeah, about 162 miles in that. 161 across the jump. Um, we're a little fast. Come on, just survive the jump. Just survive the landing. You didn't survive the landing. I mean... The driver might have survived. The car, not, not so much. Wait, does it still drive? No, it is very much dead. But, we did make it across the canyon, so we're gonna, we're gonna let off a little bit at, towards the end. I'm thinking 150 miles an hour would be ideal for this, alright? Kinda thinking that. Come on. Come on. That's 145. Is that perfect? No, it's not. That's just short. Oh! Ah! So close, and yet so far. So close, yet so far. Well, you're just a ball now. Yeah, you're not much of a K-Series anymore. You're just a ball of wreckage. Okay, we can do this. I have faith in the K-Series. Let's try to reach, let's actually try to get 150 miles an hour. And not just 145. Because that didn't work very well. Power, come on, come on, that's 149, 148, oh, come on, uh-oh, 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 that was worse, that was worse, we're very flat now, That we, we are very flat now, <laughs> oh, right in the water, that is like the most car-like I've seen a car today, and that's still pretty well and truly destroyed. Alright, come on. We, we've landed it once. We didn't survive the landing, but we've landed it. We just need to survive it now. Now I start coasting right about now. There was 150 exactly. Come on. No, your nose died. Why are you... You made it so well the first time. You know what? We've seen this a million times. Um, we've made it the first... You made it the first time. Why are you not making it now? Gonna let off at the last second. Let off at the last second. Because we lose a lot of speed going up here. That was 156 miles an hour. That's too fast, though. Oh, that's nose diving. Ah, uh, um. I mean. Come on. Oh, no. Ow. Oh, he snapped the drive line. No. The engine still works, but the drive line doesn't. Okay. I figured out how I want to do this. We're just gonna give it to like 130 coast and floor it. Go 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 go! Come on come on! 150 come on! 150 150 150. That's not 150. That's 146. That's not good. All right. Well, ow. I love how this impact detected stopping car. What car? We're rather destroyed now. We're having a few more attempts. We're really being persnickety right now. Being very persnickety. Come on. That is 157. We're flying flat. Just, no, I saw you're flying flat. We're doing a good job. Ah. Ow. What is with the lag? Holy. My, the game did not like that. What on earth happened there? It's fine, but... What was going on with that? I have no clue. That's not enough speed. Come on, I have faith. One more time, we're gonna go switch to different vehicle, because... This can make it, but I can't get it right. It's either too fast and it nosedives, or it's too slow and it doesn't make it. 
There we go. That's 150 on the dot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh no, you were so close to a perfect landing that you died miserably. Oh, that was so close. Um, we went under a bridge there. Wow, okay. Talk about threading the needle. That gives me up one more attempt. We're gonna do 152 miles an hour. That's what we need, 152 probably. I know I said that was my last one. That's giving me renewed confidence in the vehicle. Renewed confidence in the car. There's 153. That is 153 miles an hour. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ow. Ow. <laughs> well, you can see the engine that was powering it. Because the engine is currently the second tallest point on the car. Ow. Okay, let's try a different vehicle. That really hurt. Well, this is the newest vehicle added to the game, and I have put the most powerful engine in it, a 8.4 liter V10 Dodge Viper engine. So it should be very quick. It has a ludicrous speed V8 in it. And we're just going to go flat out. We're just going to go flat out. We're actually going faster than the K-Series. Now, I picked the off-road one because we have the suspension to be able to um, survive the jump. I think we can make it. If it survives this, I'll be amazed. Didn't survive it. Didn't survive it at all. My computer is having massive problems with the landings now. There we go. It's getting better. Alright, it's very quick. Very, very quick. I think we need the same speed though. 150 miles an hour. Alright. We need to reach 170. 170 is a bit too quick. Hundred forty seven is a little bit too slow, I think, unless it is lighter. Nope. Ow. Ow. Owie ow ow. Oh. Um, it vaguely looks like a car. Vaguely. Not really though. Not really. Alright. We're still getting wheel spin right now, there we go. Now, this has the suspension, so it might be able to survive a little bit of a heavier hit. And coast. That is 150 miles an hour. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Hit the brakes, please. Hit the brakes. 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 Get the car under control. We have done it. We have jumped the canyon. Oh, it's the brake lagging. I think it's the smoke that's lagging my computer. We have successfully jumped the Grand Canyon with a car. Oh, that makes me happy. Um, it's not the prettiest thing. It's actually still car-ish. We have done it. Oh, I'm so happy. All right. I kind of want to see if I land that a little bit smoother, but we have done it. All we do, all, the only thing we really lost was the mirrors and the wing. Which is pretty darn impressive, actually. So, that was 156. That was a little bit too quick, 156. A little bit of a rough landing. Oh, that was 148. That might not be so good. That might not be so good. That was not very good. Ugh. 148 was just a tiny bit too slow. I hit that, yep. That's a lot of fire. That's an awful lot of fire. And destruction. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Turn, turn, the, turn the camera around. I can't turn the camera around. Okay, fine. I think the light was still working from that. Alright, come on. Come on, just jump that thing. Just jump it. We lose so much speed going up here when we decelerate. That was 152. It's going to be about the same, but that time we broke the front left wheel axle. There we go. I mean, we landed it once more. That is a lot of camber on that rear wheel. That is an awful lot of camber. It's not very happy. The suspension has completely collapsed, but the sunburst has made it twice now. 
The first one was a little bit better, but the Sunburst has made it. Um, first off, look at the engine on this. It is a Stage 7 Supercharged Drag Muscle Car, basically. And it is, it is one of the few vehicles that I've actually gotten to reach 890 miles an hour. Whether or not... Oh. Uh, we have lost tires. That's a problem. Alright, let's go then. Go, come on. Cool, it's overheating. Break! Break! Oh dear. I realize we're going 200 miles an hour. We don't want to go 200 miles an hour. That's a giant wheelie. Alright. I think we can do this. We're wheel spinning all over the place and the coolant hasn't overheated yet though. That's 156. We're flying sideways. Uh oh. We're nose diving. We're nose diving. Oh! Oh, you're so close. So very, very close. The engine has basically became detached from the car. Yeah, we were very close on that one. Wow. That has to be the most anticlimactic fail of all time. We did a wheelie and the drive shaft broke. We hit the ground so hard from that wheelie we broke the drive shaft. That is a new one. That is a new one to destroy a vehicle. Come on, I know you're hurting, computer. We've lost all the tires. Okay. And the drive shaft. We need to start. Come on. This vehicle is very difficult to just get it on. The, um, jump. To get it working towards the jump. Come on. Cool in the sky. I know, I know. That's, some um, 180 miles an hour. That's a little too fast. That is very much too fast. We're gonna die. Yep. Actually, the engine still works. The engine survived that. I mean, nothing else did, but the engine survived that hit. So, props to the engine for surviving that. If only the drive shaft and the steering worked. Alright. We need 160 miles an hour in this. 160. I know you're hurting, I know you're hurting. Come on. Come on! 165, we're slot. Oh, here we go, we fixed ourselves. Come on! Yes, come on! Just survive. Oh, we broke the drive shaft, no! In a s vaguely working steering. I think the drive shaft is just too fragile in this. That's really disappointing. Well, the drag, the, the, the drag car did not make it because of a busted drive shaft. Also, what is that fender doing? I don't know. Very, very peculiar. And my final thing is a Formula One car. Um. Yeah. Now, this is a Rally version, according to the author. It's a rallying version, so it has better suspension. I don't know how it'll land, how handle will jump, though, so I shall just coast here. Nope, go, 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 gas, gas. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, uh-oh, uh. -oh. Um. So the arrow actually works. That's good to know. This is Florida then. Because the arrow pushes us down. So we need to go as fast as humanly possible on that ramp in order to counteract the arrow. Because that did all sorts of wonky things to it. I'm sorry about the frame rate. The game doesn't like this color with this map. I'm sorry. Can't help it. Come on! 190 miles and 188 miles an hour. It's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. It can't physically do it. That was flat out, and it nosedived. 
Yeah. F1 car. One doesn't work. It really... It's lifted. You actually see how much... How lifted it is. That's actually very surprising. But... The downforce is, um, too much. So... Yeah, only one vehicle is actually able to jump the canyon. And it landed surprisingly well. But that is it for this episode of BMNG Driveway Pack with more.